Well, hello everyone, it's Gerda Mala here and it's day three of my video challenge. As you can see, I'm actually out and about today. My daughter loves her netball and she's just finished playing for the day. So we're about to pack up and go home. But I thought, <laughs> first things first, I will have a quick check-in with you and say hello. And today what I want to talk about is uh, mindset as a practice owner. So you might be thinking, here I am on a Saturday at my daughter's netball and I'm doing something for work. I of course don't see my private practice work as work because I love doing it. I guess I'm one of those people who's very fortunate that my work is also my hobby. But it brings to mind the whole concept of work-life balance. You know, everybody's always telling us that we need to have work-life balance. And I think sometimes we've, we take on society's rules and, um, you know, prescriptions around what work-life balance should look like. Uh, I, for one, don't buy into that. For me, work-life balance doesn't necessarily mean that I work from 9 to 5 and then I don't do anything. I'm happy to work now and I'm happy not to work from 9 to 5 on a Wednesday. Um, for me, it's all about choosing when I work, being able to have that choice to say that if I want to, you know, get up, drop the kids off to school and spend two hours with them being a teacher's assistant um, and they absolutely are blooming and loving having mum in the classroom, I can do it. I have that choice. But, you know, I can also choose to then be running training over the weekend you know uh, and that's my choice it's about having that freedom having the flexibility and that is what work-life balance really is okay if you buy into society's definition of work-life balance you are going to make yourself very very unhappy of course if you find yourself constantly working and you're not doing other stuff you're not spending time with your family you're not having time out you know then you have to work on that because that's not balance either okay it's about doing what you love when you want to that is work-life balance and if this is something that's you know you're struggling with know that you're not alone you know it took me quite some time to figure this out and you know I had to deal with a lot of guilt and uncertainty and overwhelm in terms of getting to this place where I'm not comfortable where I've gone I've got my own definition of work-life balance that works for me okay and that is what counts what works for you your family and your goals and what you want to do all right so that's it for me for this Saturday have an amazing day and I'll speak to you again tomorrow bye